persisted. 13 American Women Who Changed the World. Written by Chelsea Clinton. Illustrated by Alexandra Boyer. Sometimes being a girl isn't easy. At some point, someone probably will tell you no. Will tell you to be quiet and may even tell you your dreams are impossible. Don't listen to them. These 13 American women certainly did not take no for an answer. They persisted. Harriet Tubman was born a slave and her story could have ended there. Instead, she persisted, escaping from slavery and becoming the most famous conductor on the Underground Railroad. She risked her life many times to lead countless slaves to freedom, including her family, friends, and strangers. Every person she led to freedom arrived safely. I should fight for my liberty as long as my strength lasted. Once Helen Keller became blind and deaf as a toddler, few people thought she'd be able to learn to read, write, or speak, but she persisted. Helen learned how to do all three and not only became the first person with deaf blindness to graduate from college, but she used her story to help fight for more opportunities for people with disabilities in the United States and around the world. One can never consent to creep when one feels an impulse to soar. After her family fled poverty and the threat of violence in Ukraine for a new home in New York City, Clara Lemlich got a job working at a garment factory. She wrote that the factory's conditions made women into machines, and so she persisted, organizing picket lines and strikes that ultimately helped win better pay, shorter hours, and safer working conditions for thousands of workers, both women and men. I am one of those who suffers from the abuses described here, and I move that we go on a general strike. Nellie Bly became a reporter in part because a male writer had said that working women were a monstrosity, and she wanted to prove that women could do anything. At times putting her safety at risk, she persisted throughout her career in exposing real monstrosities, pretending to be a sweatshop worker and a patient in a mental hospital to show how badly people were being treated. I have never written a word that did not come from my heart, I never shall. Inspired from an early age by her brother's illnesses, Virginia Apgar was determined to become a doctor long before many girls had such dreams. Even though she qualified to be a surgeon, the male head surgeon at her hospital discouraged her because she was a woman. Nevertheless, she persisted becoming an anesthesiologist and created the Apgar score to test a newborn baby's health, which hospitals all over the world still use today. Nobody but nobody is going to stop breathing on me. After Maria Tallchief's family moved to California, partially to support Maria's dreams of becoming a dancer, she was teased by students in school for her Native American heritage and later was encouraged to change her last name to something that sounded Russian, since many professional dancers at the time were from Russia. She persisted, ignoring all the taunting and poor advice, to become the first great American prima ballerina. It never occurred to me to say it hurts to do that. As a 15-year-old riding a bus home from school in Montgomery, Alabama, Claudette Colvin was expected to give up her seat to a white woman just because she was African-American. In her refusal to get up, she persisted in taking a stand for what's right and helping to inspire Rosa Parks to make the same choice nine months later, an act many point to as starting the modern civil rights movement. I knew then, and I know now that, when it comes to justice, there is no easy way to get it. You can't sugarcoat it. You have to take a stand and say, this is not right. 
When Ruby Bridges was in kindergarten, many schools across America, particularly in the South, still refused African-American students their equal right to an education. Ruby wouldn't be treated like a second-class student, and she persisted, walking for weeks past angry, hateful protesters to integrate an all-white elementary school in New Orleans. That fateful walk to school began a journey, and we all must work together to continue moving forward. As the first woman to serve as both U.S. Representative and a U.S. Senator, Margaret Chase Smith could have let the fact alone be her legacy. Instead, she persisted in championing women's rights and more opportunities for women in the military, standing up for free speech and supporting space exploration. The head of NASA once noted that we wouldn't have put a man on the moon without Margaret. The right way is not always the popular and easy way. Standing for right when it is unpopular is a true test of moral character. Sally Ride always believed that women could succeed in any math or science career. Although not everyone agreed, she persisted and she became the first American woman in space. But that wasn't enough for Sally. She traveled into space once more and then created science and engineering programs specifically for girls so she could help generations of young women achieve their dreams too, both on Earth and in outer space. Young girls need to see role models in whatever career they may choose just so that they can picture themselves doing those jobs someday. You can't be what you can't When as a kid, Florence Griffith Joyner visited her father in the Mojave Desert, he would urge her to run faster and faster, to run as fast as a jackrabbit. Even when she had to leave college to help support her family, she persisted in her training on the track, then went back to school and got faster and faster. Her unbroken world records in the 100 meter and 200 meter sprints set at the 1988 Summer Olympics mean she is still the fastest woman ever. When anyone tells me I can't do anything, I'm just not listening anymore. Oprah Winfrey's grandmother expected Oprah to follow in her footsteps and become a maid. Oprah knew, even as a little girl, that her dreams would take her somewhere else. She persisted in turning those dreams into her reality and became a media superstar, working in movies, books, magazines, theater, and most of all television, where the Oprah Winfrey Show remains the highest rated talk show of all time. The biggest adventure you can ever take is to live the life of your dreams. Watching fictional judges on television inspired Sonia Sotomayor to want to become a real life judge when she grew up. She knew she'd have to speak English as well as she spoke Spanish, study hard in school, and manage her diabetes before she could one day wear a judge's robe with a gavel in her hand. She persisted, eventually becoming a Supreme Court justice and the first ever Latina to sit on America's highest court. I have never had to face anything that could overwhelm the native optimism and, the stu and stubborn perseverance. I was blessed with that. So if anyone ever tells you no, if anyone ever says your voice isn't important or your dreams are too big, remember these women. They persisted and so should you.